In the previous lecture, we understand how REST API work in the past. Now let's take a look at more about JWT. Let's take a look at how JWT work. Now there are two types of authentication in JWT. Session based authentication and token based authentication. In the previous lecture, we understand the session based authentication where we store the session data inside a server memory. So in this lecture, we're going to take a look at how the token based authentication work in JWT. Many web applications use JSON web token instead of session for authentication. In the token based application, the server creates JWT with a secret and sends the JWT to the client. The client stores the JWT usually in a local storage and includes JWT in the header with every request. The server would then validate the JWT with every request from the client and send a response. The biggest difference here is that the user state is not stored on a server as the state is stored inside a token on the client side instead. Each token is self-contained. This means it contains all information needed to allow or deny any given request to an API. Let me explain JWT in more detail. JWT is the need of modern web application. JWT is made of three parts, the header, the payload, and the signature. Let's go through each one. I'm gonna just open my browser and head on to jwt.io. From this website, you can find more about JWT. So I'm going to open this JWT website and click on this learn more about JWT. And here you can find what its JWT token is, why should you use JWT web tokens, and what is the JWT web token structure. So let's talk about the structure of the JWT token. There are three parts of JWT web tokens, header, payload, and signature. Let's start with the payload first. The payload of JWT is just a plain JavaScript object. Inside that, you might have your name, email, and your status. A payload contains the identification information about a given user. But in general, the payload could be anything else. It may be your username, password, or your status. Keep in mind, there are no restrictions on the content of the payload. But it is important to know that a JWT is not encrypted. So any information that we put in a token is still readable to anyone who intercepts the token. So avoid using password and useful credential in the payload. The next is the header. The content of the payload is then validated by the receiver by inspecting the signature. So one of the things that the receiver need to know is for example, which type of signature to look for. This type of technical metadata information about the token itself is placed in a separate JavaScript object and sent together with the payload. You can notice here in this example, we have the signature type and the sign algorithm. Now there are different algorithms you can use in JWT. You can notice here. So inside this object, you will have the algorithm and the signature type. Just for that, at the last, you have a signature. The last part of JWT is a signature, which is the message authentication code. A signature of JWT can be only produced by someone in ownership of both the payload and a given secret key. Now signature is the key part of JWT. To understand how signature work, let's assume that you have submitted the admission form in a college. In the form, you need to fill your user information with some secret information. Consider user information as payload and secret information as header. And to validate this form, you make a signature at the bottom. If any of this information is incorrect, your form will be rejected. So we get the signature from the header and payload content, which makes sure your content can't be changed even if intercepted as your signature will be invalidated. Now, let me just open the jwt.io and scroll down. Here you can notice we have the encoded and decoded section. Here we have the header, the payload, and the verify signature. The signature is the combination of your header and your payload. In the header, we have algorithm and a type. If you want, you can change this algorithm and specify the different algorithm as well. You can notice here, we have different algorithms at the top. You can specify any algorithm inside this header. That doesn't matter. Just for that, we have the payload, which is the data. Inside it, you have the sub. Sub means the subject, which is the unique ID of your payload. Then you have your name inside this payload. And just for that, we have issued at. The issued at claims identify the time at which the JWT was issued. This is actually very useful if you want to expire the JWT token. And then we have the secret key, just down here. JWT encode the user information, the header and the payload with a secret key and create a signature. Signature is the encoded version of header and a payload with a secret key. The signature is used to verify that the sender of the JWT is who it say it is and to ensure that the message won't change along the way. 
signature step is pretty simple. In this step, we take the header and the payload and convert it into base64 format. Now, I hope this is enough theory about JWT. In the next lecture, I'm going to create a simple example to explain how to use JWT in the Node application.